In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up WireGuard VPN tunnel on Windows 11. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in my previous videos, I've been showing you setup of WireGuard VPN tunnel on Linux Mint and Windows 10. In this one, we're going to set up in Windows 11, which is pretty much same. Uh, but I'm gonna change something uh, in this one and if you're here for the first time so I'm gonna uh, tell you the background I'm going to use pfSense and I have installed um, the WireGuard VPN using the package manager if you go into the available uh, package you can find WireGuard and the current version what I'm using is 0.2.1 it's showing under install package but if you don't have that just click on install available packages and then click on install it's pretty simple and then uh, you need to go to VPN section and you will find uh, a VPN setup like this I already have set up because I've been making different videos and on the other side what you need is to add a few rules I'm gonna show you those so for allowing the WireGuard port it's gonna be you need to add a rule uh, with the action of pass using WAN interface and uh, it will use IPv4 UDP and then the source will be any and the destination will be WAN subnet with the uh, port number of whatever port you're going to use on your WireGuard network and then you can uh, just give it a, com uh, a description any name and then there is going to be another rule yeah if you go to firewall and then rules and then go to WireGuard and then add a rule here and I can show you you can take a screenshot here so it's gonna be pass and interface will be WireGuard and IPv4 and any any destination any traffic and then uh, give it a name or whatever you want in the description and you can take a screenshot here so this is all the configuration you need after installing the VPN server on pfSense okay and then the next thing is going to be configuring a tunnel for uh, clients for peers whatever you want to call it but actually the, the term is peers okay so under VPN WireGuard you will see this kind of interface you need to click on add tunnel and then give it a name any name you want uh, I'm gonna name it uh, test for Windows 11 and then 518 and then I'm going to generate the key because there is no keys already and I'm gonna copy this public key information to paste into my configuration file on uh, the WireGuard clients uh, section and here I'm going to set IP address 20.1 and with the subnet of 24 so another one is going to be test Windows 11 description and then with the address so because this is going to be uh, specifically for Windows 11 that's why I'm just mentioning Windows 11 everywhere and then we are going to just simply click on save tunnel once the tunnel is saved make sure you click on apply changes and now you can see there is zero peers uh, and just ignore the top tunnel so we are going to work on WG1 and then I'm going to click on add it one more time because we're going to add more peers in this one okay and I'm going to click on add peers and then specifically Windows 11 so for tunnel you need to set some specific name the tunnel name not the one what, what i'm using of uh, windows 11 so this is a tunnel i can use in to multiple operating systems so it's just for test so that's why i used this name and now we need a public key for this one and the address so address since we are going to use uh this network 20.0 zero so i'm gonna give it an address the next one like the first one is uh, you can consider the tunnel address and the second one is going to be the peer address which is two the one we assign on the tunnel side and then uh just name it windows 11 and save peer uh, it's not gonna allow me because there is no public key okay and then i'm gonna go back to wireguard website and then uh, on installation you can see it's available for 
uh, almost all the operating systems and for windows we have for windows 7 8 10 11 and uh, those servers until 2022 just click on windows installer once it's downloaded install it and i already have installed it so you can see there is no configuration and i'm gonna create an empty tunnel so when you once you create empty tunnel it's gonna show you some information like private key public key what we need is the public key not the private key so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna go back into pfsense and then paste it here so private key is for the private use, not for the public. So public key, uh, you can share with what resources you want to access. And since we have pasted the key here, I'm going to just simply click on save just to save time on the recording and apply changes. And since the changes are applied, I'm going to go into status. And here you can see it's red. That means it's not being used. Okay, so I have this information already and I'm going to name it PFSense Tunnel. You can name it whatever you want. And then we need uh, the peer information and the address information. What I'm going to paste here, you can get it from the description of this video. Okay, so this is the address, which is 172.160.2 and the peer, uh, peer address, uh, I'm going to go back to check if that's right awc i actually copied it uh while showing you all that but one more time if i paste it here it's the same one and then uh the allowed ip address is so this is the network of the tunnel itself if you notice uh the tunnel address is 172.1620.1 so this is the network and this is the another network and i'm going to click on save and uh, endpoint is just to be sure i'm going to go ahead and check the address one more time so 216244702012 and this is a port number you can see 51822 51822 save and then i'm going to go to the main page where i have all the information 216244 and uh 70.12 that's the correct information so i'm going to click on activate hopefully it will be activated and i'm gonna go into the vpn wireguard just to check the status if it's up uh, it says still not up why what's the issue i'm gonna show you what's the issue but on the client side you can see it says activated but it's actually not activated because you can see uh the transfer bytes are zero it's it's trying to send uh, the data bus but it's not able to so i'm just going to click on deactivate again and if i go to firewall rules and under wireguard rules you can see we just allowed 518 21 not 22 so i'm just going to add one more port here 518 22 so it's going to be starting from 518 21 and 518 22 i'm going to click on save and then apply changes and let's try activating it again and wireguard status tunnel now it should be green so now you can see it's uh, connected and it says less than eight seconds ago and if i try pinging some network first let me deactivate it just to show you i am not able to ping those networks so like i have my docker server with this ip address my wordpress with this address none of them are pingable okay let's activate this and try again now you can see i'm able to ping so our wireguard is working perfectly fine thank you so much for watching the video if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for the previous support bye